today's topic how to calculate pipe length okay so this is our diagram sam i made this to make you understand clearly understand this is our 45 degree offset now this is called travel this is called travel we have pipe 4 inch and elbow 45 degree long radius this is also elbow 45 degree long radius this is called set you know this is called set and this is <coughs> called run this is called run now same i have drawn here on the whiteboard see we need to calculate here pipe length this pipe length from here to here how much we will calculate here step by step i will make you understand let's start see we have i have drawn here you can see this is our triangle you can see this is called set this is called run this is called travel now first of all i have drawn here how to calculate we have the formula you can see travel equal to 500 square run square 500 square set square you can see here i have made this so 500 square plus 500 <coughs> square understand now here we will calculate we here we will calculate travel we have this one square x square we have 500 we will keep 500 here plus square 500 equal to we'll get 707.106 106 understand so what how much 707.106 mm so what we calculate we we'll calculate the travel travel from here to here now we need to calculate the pipe length this from here to here understand for this we have to calculate the elbow center this one elbow center 10.45 divided by 2 multiply 1.5 multiply 25.4 multiply pipe size we have pipe size here you can see here 4 so 4 we will keep here understand now we make here we will solve in calculator so we will click here 10 here we have 10 45 45 divided by 2 close into 1.5 into 25.4 into 4 you can see we got 63 63.126 mm this is our one elbow center one elbow center this much for two elbow four for two elbow elbow 63.126 into 2 we'll get here 63.126 into 2 we will get here 126 126.256 mm 
two elbows. One elbow here, one elbow here. Both is 45. Understand? That's why we multiply here by 2. Now, we will calculate pipe length. 4 pipe length. Pipe length. Now we will calculate pipe length. Pipe length from here to here. Understand? This is called pipe length. Pipe length first travel. How much we got travel? 707.106. Minus for two elbows. Minus two elbows. One elbow here, you know? one elbow is here, one elbow is here. 126.256. Then minus gap. One gap here and another gap here. So gap should be 3 mm. Okay, 3 mm. 3 mm minus 3 mm. Now we will make here 707.106 minus 126.256 minus 3 minus 3. We will get here 5, 5, 7, 4, point eight five millimeter. This is for pipe length. 5, 7, 4, point eight five millimeter. This is pipe length. Pipe length from here to here. Understand? Now, what you have to do? You have to understand here. We have here, you can see here, this is our elbow and this is our elbow. This is, we have to calculate pipe length from here to here. For calculating pipe length, we have to calculate elbow center. Elbow center need to calculate from this formula, 10 degree divided by 2 into 1.5 into 25.4 into pipe size. Pipe size is 4 inch. You can see here 4 inch. Understand? That's why we keep the pipe size 4 inch. So we will calculate, we will get for one elbow. This, this is the measurement for one elbow. Center for one elbow center. For second, we will multiply by 2. We will get together 126.256 millimeter. Now pipe length. This pipe length. You know, there is gap here and the gap is here. Point to be noted. Gap should be 3 millimeter here, 3 millimeter here. So, we have the center, elbow center. We got elbow center 126.256 for both. From here to here, for both. Understand? So, we will calculate the pipe length. Pipe length we have calculated already. We have calculated here travel. Travel, you can see here travel. How we calculate? By using Pythagoras theorem. You can see this is given, run is given, set is given, travel. Travel equal to under root 500 square, 500 square plus 500 square. We will get here this one. This is travel. From this center, from this elbow center to this elbow center. You can see here, this elbow center to this elbow center, we got 707.106. This is by using Pythagoras theorem. Understand? You can use it by Pythagoras theorem. This is our mathematics, how to calculate pipeline. 
Understand? If you have any questions, you can ask by comment in the comment box. Thank you for watching. Kindly subscribe.